Hey, Dad, where's the set? Ugh. Voila. Hey guys, it's Evan, and as you guys can see, I'm back with another huge Lego set. This time we're building the UCS Millennium Falcon. This is set 75192. It's recommended for ages 16 and up, and it's 7,541 pieces. This is currently the largest Lego set ever produced, and it retails for around $800. So we've had this set for a while now, but we haven't had the time to build it, but now that school's been canceled for like three weeks, we finally have the time to build this thing. And since you guys liked the Imperial Star Destroyer video so much, and you know how we gave away one of them, we're gonna give one of these away as well. So all you have to do is get this video to 2 million views. So share it with your friends, watch it over and over, share it with your grandma, because you know, your grandma obviously wants to help you get this set. Maybe with your dog, maybe with your pets, I don't know. So we got the crew in the Millennium Falcon getting chased by some TIE fighters running away from Cloud City. I guess they're not really running, they're kind of flying, but you know, they could be, they're kind of running. Here's a look at the side. We see some of the blueprints right here. It's 32.6 inches long, 23.6 inches wide, and 8.6 inches tall. We also get a bunch of minifigures. It comes with BB-8, the old version of Han Solo, Chewbacca, Finn, Rey, C-3PO, the younger version of Han Solo, Princess Leia, and two Porgs. Here's a look at the back. It looks like we've got some removable parts. It's cool that you can recreate some of the scenes from the newer movies as well as the classics. Here we have the scene where the Minox are chasing Princess Leia and one where Finn and Rey are just hanging out playing games. And on the final side of the box, we got the Millennium Falcon with some inspirational quotes. Okay, let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, this thing's pretty big and uh... So already I can see that we don't really have bags. We got these big boxes. So let's take that first. We got another box. Mm. Ow. All right. There we go. All four boxes. Oh, wait. I lied. Ah, I'm in the box. Guys, I'm stuck in the box. Oh, guys, the book. I haven't seen a book like this since I built the Death Star. So here's the instructions. It comes in this nice spiral bound book. So we have some stickers here. There's not a lot, so that's nice. I don't know what this is because I think it's the box for the book, but it kind of looks like a photo frame. Maybe you can take a picture of yourself building it and stick it in here, cut it out, make a little movie theater. I don't know. And here we have four very large boxes. So there's no numbers on the boxes, so I guess I'm gonna have to open them all up and try to find number one. So we have some pieces right here. We have bag number four. Bag number 14. Number four. Bag number 15. Hey, bag one, okay. Bag four, bag one, bag 15, bag 15, bag <laughs> And we are done with the bags. So as you guys can see, we got a lot of bags here. It might take me a while to build this, but luckily I have some help. Okay, let's get started.
Hey, Dad, where's the set? What? Where's the, where's the set? Uh, here. Wait, why is, why is there a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in the cockpit? It's Millennium Falcon. This is, this is not the UCS, dude. This is tiny. Yeah, I kind of had an accident. It broke. An accident. Well, you better start fixing it. Off with you. Ah, finally. Okay, is it is it fixed? I think I, I hope so. I'm going to bed. Yes, go do that. Okay, guys. So here it is, the world's largest Lego set, the UCS Millennium Falcon. Let's start off by taking a look at the minifigures. First, let's start off with these little guys, the Porgs. We get two of them in this set. They're made up of seven different parts. They have a cute little frowny face printed on this little dome piece. In the movie, the Porgs' bodies are more white, but here, it's different shades of gray. It would have been cool instead of having two of these, they made a roasted one for two to eat. Next, we have BB-8. You can find this one in a bunch of other sets. His head is printed on the same dome piece we use for the Porgs. It's got nice orange and gray printing with four out of the six circular designs on his body sphere. It's missing the ones on the top and bottom. That's pretty much all there is to say about him. The first of our classic characters is Han Solo from The Empire Strikes Back. He's got flowing brown hair and is wearing his blue jacket and brown pants combo. In the movie, he has a white shirt, but here it looks more light blue. It also looks gray where his neck is supposed to be. He's got a printed belt that comes with a blaster. There are two face prints, one with a relaxed face and another with a breathing mask that he can use when he goes exploring instead of a space slug or during a pandemic. Next we have the episode 5 Leia. She's got her white outfit on. We've got some nice printing on the front and back of her torso as well as a little bit on her upper leg. She has braided hair with two little buns and two faces, a relaxed face and one with her M95 mask on. Next we have Old Han from The Force Awakens. He's got a brown jacket, gray shirt, and black pants. He's got the same holster printing as the young Han with a little less detail. He has gray hair and eyebrows and a relaxed face and an angry face, which sort of reminds me of how he looked here. Yeah, yes. so I got <laughs> Here we have Rey. She's got a tan tunic with a gray shirt underneath. So I think this is supposed to be her first Awakens outfit, although that one was less gray. She also has her signature triple bun hairdo. And she has two faces, a relaxed face and an angry face. Next we have Finn. He's got black pants and the Poe Dameron jacket on. There's some nice printing on the front and back of his torso. He's got his blaster and two faces, one with his mouth closed and one with his mouth open. Next we have C-3PO. We've seen this guy before in other sets. He's got the cool C-3PO printing with the wires and the mechanical parts on his leg and torso. And of course, he has a C-3PO head. We also get this buildable Minoc, the alien parasites that were flying around in the space slug stomach. It's got two wings, a tail, two green eyes, and a brown mouth that you can attach to any stud. And finally, we have Chewbacca. And like C-3PO, can be used with the classic characters or new ones since he doesn't seem to age. He's got his bandolier and some fur printing on his upper and lower body. He comes with his bowcaster and his Wookiee single piece head slash body scope with no neck movement. We also have this UCS plaque with the information sticker on it. And now on to this big boy. So just like the UCS Star Destroyer, the build starts off with a Technic base structure and finishes off with a series of panel-like segments. Some of these panel builds are held on by gravity and aren't actually attached to the model. Other than that, these pieces are pretty secure and everything fits together like a puzzle. So if you're gonna fly this thing around the living room, just don't do any upside down loops. There are some Technic pins which guide each piece into the correct position. Here we have the cockpit which can seat four mini figures. To gain access, you have to remove the canopy, which has some nice printing on it. Inside, there aren't any seats, but there are studs that hold everyone down in the event of a meteor shower. There's a couple of printed control panels in the front, as well as a little divider piece. The covering is tricky to get back on, but once everything is in place, it's pretty sturdy. As you can see, the whole set is heavily detailed and has quite a bit of greebling. We see all sorts of small pieces around the ship, like handlebars, tubes, phones, binoculars, guns, 
and other things that you wouldn't think would be stuck to the side of the Millennium Falcon. We have four equipment access bays, two deflector shield generators, the six large heat exhaust vents, a circular sensor dish with a little rice hat in the middle. Right here we have some Ford floodlights. The front here doesn't have a whole lot going on. I think this area is supposed to house missiles. We have two quad laser cannons, one on the top of the ship and one on the bottom. Although it has a circular shape, the ship is very asymmetric when it comes to detailing. What you find on the right side is completely different from the left. Up here we have a hole that's ripped out of the ship and we can see some exposed parts. We also have some more of these holes in the back part of the ship as well. Hey, get out of here! There's also a sticker here with some extra blast damage. And on the back of the ship, we have these drive units represented by these blue tubes. Now let's take a look at the interior of the ship. You can access the first area by lifting up these panel pieces. Here we have the little lounge slash control room. We've got the hologram board where you can play a game of Dajara. There's some nice seating around it with some printed on controls. We also have Luke's blast shield helmet that he used for lightsaber training sitting on a stand. On this side, we have some controls with a big black swiveling chair. It looks like there are some shutout valves and we have a sticker here to represent the hallways of the ship. It looks like going to the left will take you to one of the cargo holds and going to the right will bring you to the cockpit and other parts of the ship. You can look at our next interior area by removing these panels. We've got some tanks with covers that can hinge open and close. There are more knobs and valves as well as a bunch of controls with stickers on them. Here we have another sticker and I think this one's supposed to be the hyperdrive. And back here we have the little control room where C-3PO caught Han and Leia kissing in episode 5. Hey, get lost, Mr. Gold! My bad, Mr. Han. There's also a little compartment down here that can store some equipment. Over here we have a ladder that leads to the gun seat to operate the upper quad cannon. You can move the cannon in different directions, but you can't spin it around. To shoot behind the ship, you have to remove the whole panel and flip it around like this. So both the top and the bottom have these concave window pieces for the gunner to see through. There's a white seat and controls for one minifigure. We have more tunnel stickers to give the illusion that you can travel to other rooms. These panels can also easily be removed, but there isn't much to look at underneath them. You can use this for a cargo hold. Or if you're creative, you can put it in a bathroom or an arcade. The bottom of the ship isn't as detailed as the top, but it still has some nice features. We have an entry ramp that comes down the starboard side that is operated by a hydraulic system. There are seven landing gear feet. Each one has a pretty good footprint which makes the set very sturdy on flat surfaces. Here we have the lower cannon turret. It's very similar to the upper turret except you can't put a minifigure in there. There's also a hitting gun that comes down when you slide the door open. Are you done talking about the bottom? My arms are killing me. Yeah, you can put it down. Ugh. Voila. The set also includes some upgraded replacement parts to update the Falcon to its Force Awaken likeness. We can swap out the circular dish to this rectangular one as well as two pieces that attach to the front mandible. I think those might be tractor beam projectors or antenna. Okay guys, so there it is, the UCS Millennium Falcon. It took us a while to build and I think it's gonna be really hard for Lego to top this. It's a really good set, best one there is, I think. And don't forget, we're gonna be giving one of these away if this video reaches two million views. So make sure to like, share, and comment, and yeah, you might get your hands on this. You did it before, so let's do it again. If you want to see more big LEGO sets, let us know which ones we should build down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.